Manjin and Wolf connection, guys. Here. That's Manjin. And I'm Wolf. Yes. And <laughs> we are back. No, no, for... I'm Wolf. He is. No. Anyways, we are back for game number two of the best of three series of the second semifinal again. Alpha Gaming just one win away from facing uh, Team Veteran. Team Veteran. In the grand final. Oh, it's the Alpha and the Veteran. Yeah, we still. Let's see. Yeah, we have the draft right now. And let's hop right into it. So we're seeing right now Kings versus Alpha Gaming. Gaming. And uh, let's see, guys. Kings Gaming. Going for the Trend Protector, Oracle, and face this boy. Meanwhile, Alpha Gaming, wow! Drew Ranger, Silencer, and Batrider for their uh, lineup. So, this is a Draw Ranger composition for their team. Uh, hello. It's a draw Ranger. In hello. Combination with the Silencer. You know, sometimes you, they do combo with, with the Enigma for the additional. Damage on the Eidolons, again, if you activate the Precision Aura, yeah. you can give a bonus damage to Eidolons for sure. And because of so much units with the Enigma, you have so much pushing potential. Though. Yes, of course, right. And uh, they can actually go for another pushing type hero I, uh, for this lineup. Maybe a Tinker or... I well, mean, there's a face that's void, I mean, sorry. So I will not be surprised if they get the Viper though. Yeah, yeah, the Viper is very viable here. Or Dragon Knight maybe. The brick mechanic plus the long range Viper, extra damage, right? Yeah, surely. Oh, for, for King's Esports, they kind of have to get uh, Wavelier as soon as possible. Something like Alina, for for example, but Alina will be having a lot of trouble versus the Silencer. Nature's okay, profit. there's the answer to the push. I'm Nature's Prophet. Not but they're so kind of like, I'm not liking it. I don't like it. It's easily dealt with by the Batrider. Yeah. So Plus the dealt silence. with the Silencer as well. Yeah. Man. And also the Silence. I mean, coming out from the Dual Ranger. Sure. Can they easily can counter. Back. They yeah. banned the Dragon Knight themselves. So maybe they are considering the uh, Death Prophet, maybe? Yeah, Death Prophet or OD. Or Alpha Gaming, perhaps. Well, they have a lot of choices. They can go for the Lina themselves. Yeah. For more push, they can go for Viper, for example. But I'm just, I'm suggesting that profit. Well, you know, wait. I think Oscar is considerable for oh, King's so Esports, though. Alpha, Alpha, oh, because they do have the Oracle. So, what they're lacking is initiate an initiation too. So that they can jump one on to yeah. any of these squishy members from Alpha Gaming. They have that saving grace ultimate. So yeah, sure. Fortune yeah. send. Also, the the false promise, yeah. The. Sorry, uh, false promise. The trend no, protector. They ask her themselves. Okay. Also, they will protect the Ember Spirit. They also have the armor from the trend protector. Yeah, the living armor. So, this is going to be the spell shield, the Ember Shield. Plus the living armor. Yeah, so much just so, so much, much resistance. And sustain in general. And of course face this void with the mini time lapse mechanic of the time walk. Ooh. But there you go. Storm, Storm Spirit. Spirit. It's the Ember Spirit versus Storm Spirit in the mid lane, man. The fire versus the lightning. Yeah. Ember. It's the storm versus the yes. fire. Lightning versus fire. Like you mentioned. But lightning is a higher form the, of fire. A higher form of fire, yeah. Well, so they say. I don't know. But well, that's that's true. That's true. If the if the flame is blue, it means it means that the flame is stronger. In the gas stove, right? That is scientifically scientifically proven. Believe me on this one. But that is not lightning, though. Well, anyways, enough talk about fire and gas. That's toes. why. That's why lightning is blue. Lightning is not blue. Lightning is white blue. Lightning is not white blue. Why? One hundred percent white. Well, our background <laughs> is blue. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, it is uh, one of the main faults for people to actually connect. Fiction and, and uh, facts. reality, and reality, yeah. Yeah, mix yeah, yeah, them yeah. together. Never ever do that. And we are in the realm. We're actually of kidding, Dota guys. Yeah. We're just kidding. We're just but kidding. 
I think we do have the game upcoming soon. I think for the decision for Alpha Gaming was to not go all in drawing their push strategy, not go all in on just one linear sort Strat, of a right? strategy, one dimensional strategy. They went for it's kind of a safe play. They have the mid game, but they also have a late game potential. And there's no real way for the star spirit to be caught by the members. Maybe the phases void chronosphere, but it's, it's a good tool. Yeah, it it is good. It is good. Can never discount. But that. I want to see the spirits fighting in the mid lane. Yeah, the ember sure. and the uh, the storm, and of course, as uh, as players, we know that the ember will have indeed the upper hand in the early stages. Yeah. Of the game because uh, his his skills are more rel reliable into the early early stages. But let's see, let's have the hero run down right now. Um, it's going to be the second game, guys. Direct, please do introduce our uh, our players. Yurek as the Trap Protector, Kiluwa will be using the Basis Void Tet as the Oracle Tokyo as the Ember Spirit and Enryu as the Nature's Prophet. On the other side, you have Kakarot. It's the Bat Rider, Charlie G on the Star Spirit Paramount, controlling the Silencer. Once again, H got on the Enigma yep. and Super Zone with Super a Drow Zone. Ranger. Okay, I'm oh. excited to see the Ooh. Super Zone. Uh, so wait, Draw there, correct me if I'm wrong, but Kakarot was a support yes. last game. Yes, yes, yes. So this is a position for Bat Rider, so it seems. Ooh. Which is very interesting for me. Because I think I thought that the Bat Rider plus the Enigma isn't a good combination per se. Because I mean um Kakarot always uses his uh is always going for the position five. Well actually due to past tournaments, this is one of Kakarot's best favorite. The bat rider. Ooh. So with this, I mean, he is very confident. Being of confidence. Well, too much confidence. Too much confidence. <laughs> oh, the and devil. there you go. Too much confidence can indeed kill you. Every you drew the first blood against Kakarot. Kakarot. Yeah. Whew. Well, anyways, here's the thing with Alpha Gaming. The precision R is just. And it gives so much advantage for all of their laners, particularly Star yeah. Spirit and even Batrider in lane. <laughs> so much has potential. Just just have to not get ahead of themselves and not be super aggressive versus the members of King CME. Otherwise, you can easily be punished. Instead, actually, he's trying oh, to man. snipe, probably snipe, snipe the a career. career. Yep. Yeah, he's gonna bite his time. It's not gonna show in the lane. Well, he can though. I mean, that's a uh, storm spirit, and as a storm spirit, you can you want to use that early curry. Again, the two nature, the two elements of uh, the two grass type heroes are indeed here in the top lane against a draw ranger and a uh, silencer, who are good with that precision aura of the. Of the draw range. Bottom lane, it's uh, a lot of pressure on the face this boy this time because of the presence of the back guy. Right? Oh no, on top of the enemy. Oh no, here comes the courier snipe. Can we see the courier snipe? Oh man, yes, but we tense. will. But Tet, actually, not Tet. That's a yeah. It's just that. It's going to delay the creep wave, but that is a courier down. More gold in favor of King Zim in general. And of course, you don't want to have. You want to have more. Sustain if you are the Star Spirit, you want a fairy model, maybe or additional yeah. resources, additional consumables in the lane. And that's just that's that just shows that King's Gaming knows what they're doing. I mean, how do you know where the career is going first? Yeah. Which lane will it go first? It normally goes to the mid, but yeah. You don't really have know that for sure, and of course he. I think he saw the Star Spirit get the knife thing from the carrier, so, so he went for that. Play. Yeah, maybe. He gave up so much gold to his teammates. Like, look at just look at this. Early on, a thousand and thirty already for yep. King's Gaming. And look at this, man. The Joe Ranger is having a hard time farming against the Nature's Prophet. Eleven five against seven two, man. And as a Joe Ranger, you want the, the early farm uh, to for you. I mean, for yourself. Yeah. It's a lot of magic damage for Charlie G. So it's Ember's best of his life. Especially with the Sir Jane. Absolutely. 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 Absolutely
meanwhile. Okay. Speaking of really bravely. The elements of nature. Chasing the wind ranger. But that's a ranger, man. Oh what a That's a ranger. He knows where to go. What they do. What they do. Super zone. Super Zoning out the, 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 footwork, the ancients. Uh, what do you call that? The ancient... Uh, uh, treants. The treants, right? The baby treants. Yeah, baby treants. The baby Jeeps. Come to the top lane, so no clash. Is that the Ember Spirit getting the better part? So it's, yeah. Well, it's mainly because of the fact that this Star Spirit is having great trouble because of the... Courier, courier snipe, snipe, of course. Yeah. His farms uh, it disrupted his farm early on, but man, this is an, er this is an early 2k goal lead yeah. for Team uh, King's Esports, and not just that, even into the bottom side, as you can see, man, three heroes, three core heroes are leading the last hits for uh, the early stages of the game. Apply the pressure on the oh man, damage. the overload! <laughs> overload position, Ara? Yeah, Easy. extra damage. Okay, meanwhile, into the top lane, hold that thought, Mr. Wolf, because Super Holding Zone on. is zoning, oh, no. zoning out everyone, but again, he will fall down. A little bit of misstep by the batter, I think. He was able to yeah. uh, block his teammate right there. Okay. Didn't block off his teammate would have been a different story. Well, sure. that was uh, late silence from the the draw wind, uh, the, the draw ranger. I'm sorry. And again, as we can see Ember Spirit against a level five Storm Spirit. Okay, here oh, comes the gang. Try it off. Try no chance. Take it. Yeah, try it off. No chance for uh, the sorcerer to get away, especially yeah. with the fortune sand hitting him. Yeah. Because it means that he can't lightning ball away from him. Because it's just level 5, so without lightning ball, just negate that ultimate. Oh, my King's Sports. Charlie G. This is unlike. Oh, just look at the right click. Oh, man. Charlie G. Just too Way too much more. Oh. Ooh, one more. Oh, oh. oh was there but still not there. The overload passive. Overload passive is way too much. Oh. Yeah, the precision power extra oof on the damage. Kilua okay, actually got the kill yes. on the yes. to the Enigma. Yeah. Wherever he said, well there was a gap. Well let's see, there's there's always this silencer threat in the game so before you go for the chrono spear you need to make sure that the silence has been used but how do you do you do that when you're a when you're a silencer of course you need to expect that your team will go for team fights after you use that silence and you don't want to use the silence as a defensive tool more of an offensive tool actually and of course kakarot with the almost up with his blink dagger can go with the storm straight and go for it that was quite interesting because just look at the banner this level five us of this moment able to get the kill yeah the speaking of the bad right the uh, trade protector yeah but overall i mean this is just six minutes this, this is just a six minute mark and this bat rider is already level five. Yep. It's very interesting for me. Plus he has 30 last hits. He was able to get it, yeah. I think from the it's more majority from the jungle. Probably. So he will make the place for uh, for his team, of course, creating space for uh for the draw ranger. He will go with the storm spirit and then they will go for pickups. Especially if you're against a nature's prophet. Again, like what you said, one of the answer. Not a counter, not a direct answer. One of the answers for uh, Nature's Prophet is that Batman's fire at the Fire, Firefly, I mean, sorry, yeah. Middle, would you go the for the Zephyr? Just the lightning fall, oh, and the remnant will be there. Two remnants. Modern, each god, bring down once again. Yeah, man, if you're up, up against Ember Spirit, what you need to do is just right click him out. He doesn't even need to use the the spell shield. I mean the flame yeah. gun. Well, eventually you will destroy the flame gun. You can see how much damage. 
Yep. There's a physical damage component with the all of your right clicks when it has a overload, so that's uh, way too much damage with a precision aura. Yeah. Super zone, trying to push out the top lane. Okay, there's the Chrono Sphere into the bottom lane. On to the side is right there. That was an easy pick of Orkaloo and the Enry U. And they will now convert this into a push, but no. It's going to be a TP out for the ball. Tokyo being chased down. There's the drive in. Charlie G. Charlie G. He wanted to take out Tokyo. What just happened? It's a kill. Solo kill. Giving so much experience and gold onto various smart players. Almost. That's happening. That is the bottom tier one tower taken out by the team. Almost done with the sky. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. The 1k go of the way. I wonder how the network, network chart looks though. They reckon, can we see the, yeah. the network? As, uh, <laughs> can we just assume that network. the Storm Spirit is... Yeah. Oh, it's not. It's actually the... the Nature's the, Prophet. Interestingly enough. Well, he did facility for a push and he's <laughs> getting a ton of arms. So. Drums picked up by himself. Yeah. Overall, this is the Nature's Prophet. I think the Prophet is the Legion Commander previously. And of right? course, in the early stages, we saw him, I mean, dominating the Joe Ranger in the top lane using the Treyans, farming out. I mean, if I'm not mistaken, those uh, those Treyans are much tankier than the, the, the Crips. Meanwhile, there's going to be a DP. Okay. Battle of Summons <laughs> right now. Summons versus summons. Summons versus summons. The 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 baby trans versus the the baby Inis. But speaking of babies, Charlie G, baby in Kilua, is the vortex. Okay. Nice disarm mechanic. But Kilua oh, no. is just too squishy, but okay, he will get away with a time walk. It's away. But Nature's profit though, lucky that way he got right clicks. Will be enough. Ooh. The fist to finish him off by Charlie G gets kill on the out of body to his name. Here goes the back right there as well, taking out the kill protector. While that's happening, the Ember Spirit wants to go and fight with his Storm Spirit. And the bottom blocks coming out from the tree ends. Nice micro coming out from the Nature's Prophet. Well, well the draw ranger. Ranger. that's not stopping. The draw <laughs> ranger is up top. Is just getting the, those bounty runes for her I mean, uh, is under attack. Okay, that was a confusing skirmish into the bottom lane. As we saw the battle of the summons, that was very aggressive for the Storm Spirit, but going in for the faceless void. But that was that was a clutch, false promises. I mean, ultimate coming out from the uh, Oracle to save the faceless void, and it's indeed a good combination because with the help of the false promise, you can use that as a healing uh, mechanic for your time walk you can save up the hp and then go for the extra uh, time walk right yeah, sure well i think the biggest winner for that is no i want to have to hold it the false promise will be popped here for the nature's prophet the silence coming out from the draw range will not be enough and we will try to chase the nice. but of course here's a tango i believe from the from the draw range. Okay, but there is this going to be a fortune's end for Charlie G. Man, committing to the lightning ball. Anyways, I think the biggest winner for that specific match was the Ember Spirit. Come back. As far as far as far as far Oh man. Kakarot being Kakarot right yeah. now. He was able to steal off a lot of uh, stacks. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, that's around 800 amount of uh, gold Somewhere being snatched the by uh, Mr. Kakarot. But there's a sentry ward in the bottom uh, bottom side of the map. Level 5 trend detector. Kakarot is here also for the black. Nice silence. But okay, no detection indeed. As you said, it will save the Trend Protector and he will get away Dyer's no casualty for him getting out of danger 10-7 ladies and gentlemen no push yet coming out from Alpha Gaming for both of the lanes in the top side and on to the bottom side it's very interesting as well that three members of King's Gaming particularly the course 
or topping the net worth chart. Not all that though. They just have like 500 Industry. or 500 to 700 gold lead over the cores of Alpha Gaming. That's why I think this is still a pretty good game. No one pulling off the edge yet. Whoa, what I miss? Just uh, farming out and uh, go for the their core items before before they go for the clash. But uh, as we can see, man, the the defense actually for uh, Alpha Gaming, I'm guessing, is better because as we saw, lots of the team fights are coming from Alpha Gaming instead of the Nature's Prophet dictating the TPs, the the ganks. It's coming from Mr. Kakarot and his bad rider. It's it. They are relying on Kakarot to sort of dictate the pace for your team. And it makes total sense to me because he's the main playmaker, right? You can't depend on the Enigma. Enigma has got a long cooldown ultimate for himself and he went actually for the Midas, so it's not quite ready in this moment. Yep. But happened? if you look at your bat rider, does have the low cooldown lasso, a lot of initiation with I think the drums break up as well. And all the while that's happening, the false promise, I mean the Oracle was taken out while the start period, eats up a Chronosphere. And that's also, what you want here. Very nice uh, target for them. That's what you want if you're Kings Esports, especially if you have the Nature's Prophet. But, are th well, that's not a waste of Chrono. I mean, yes, a, kill, a kill is a kill, but they need to convert it into an objective right now, so... They need to get this tier 2 tower ASAP because as you can see in the bottom lane, tier 1 falls down in the hands of the Drill Ranger. But there you go, another objective for the side of Kings Gaming. So we are witnessing a fourth for both of the teams. I think it is going to be a big far because for the Faceless Void needs a couple of items before he's far trading. Like for example, Manista or a BK yeah. just to purge up the silence. After that, you can fight versus the members of Alpha Gaming. Well, for Alpha Gaming, they also generally went for the farming. Oh. For example, the Mindless Sun, they did one. They pulled that Sun Wolf, okay. You can continue. Yeah. Don't need to. Yeah, that's the thing with Alpha Gaming. Right? They also are itemizing for the latter stages of the game. <laughs> so, if you're talking about the, the longevity of this game, I think it's going to be really high. Yeah, maybe around 45 minutes or 43. Uh, in terms of damage, both of the teams are very uh, present, I mean, in their uh, damage output. But of course, with the extra armor of the Trent Protector for the towers, it can uh, neglect the push coming out from a team. Alpha game, but right now both of attack. them are just getting all the resources from their side. So you can see the yep. minimap, minimap guys. Three heroes Ooh. farming in the jungle side of Alpha, and three for uh, Kings. First thing I have choice for the faces, but they will go for the shadow blade. Ooh. In view of the uh, stuff. To set up, to set up. me that he wants to go for up top. It's the overgrowth to counter the lasso. Nice yep. flame break connecting onto the tree and protector. The tree and protector just back down. So the false from is also forced out and committed onto the uh, Ember Spirit. I'm on the Digi's Prophet, I mean. Yeah. One wrong flash can actually give the other team the upper hand in pushing a tower quickly so need to be safe like what we saw in the top lane no engagements coming out from uh king's esports just defensive out with uh just go for the defense without the chronosphere don't fight without the black hole don't fight without silence don't fight and speaking of silence the silence connects onto the ember spirit but the blade new was there this was the fortune sent so no more further follow from the Alpha Gaming side. He spotted the Ember Spirit but couldn't kill him even through the silence. But okay, okay. Kilua. Setting up. Okay. There's, he's not gonna do anything right now. He's not gonna spot that. Yes. Ooh. Be able to use it for the first time. What heroes are we teams? Oh man, I just... 
I just saw what the the Oracle and the Faceless Void can do into a lane in terms of healing. Yeah, time walk. You should use your time walk to negate the, 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 the one of the skills oh. of uh, Oracle. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Dire structures are fortified. Dire structures are fortified. Gaming. What will be the answer? That rider goes for the flame ba flame break. Both of the teams are playing safe, guys, and we're just chill right now, waiting for something to happen because they're just farming out their uh, items, their core items. But as we say this, there you go, two man chains. Two chains for Mr. Tokyo. The searing chains and with the first of the old team. They will get two and they will get the tier two tower. That was, that was amazing. That was quick. That was quick as well. You mentioned that how can Alpha Gaming defend this one? I think the damage of the turn will be a lot of silence on the back right there. Can't do a bit for the black hole. Oh, One, two, four. the earth as they all actually catch the trend vector as well what a black hole coming out enter the zatura enigma ladies and gentlemen oh my oh goodness. my gee. how much of a swing was that well can't see that anymore as each god is just playing the god wow that was amazing i mean it went horribly wrong for kings gaming they grouped up because they saw the bat rider was there but they weren't prepared for the Blink Dagger. I'm pretty sure that the Enigma hasn't been showing in the map. That's why they didn't know that the Blink Dagger was already present for H God. And this is a good combat potential for Alpha Gaming, man. Man, the black hole plus the lightning bolts. You don't enter the black hole, man. Enter the black you hole. will get lo you we'll get you will go to the to another timeline. And then as we saw, yeah. that was indeed clutch. And those that was indeed one of the highlights for Mogul Arena. For Mogul Arena. Just gave away a lot of uh, gold already. Uh, uh, okay, let's see if there's an overgrowth being committed. But Charlie G is the one to fall down. Kakarot is running away for his life. There's a time dilation. Kalua will get the double kill. So, doesn't matter if you go for the black, uh, if you went for the five man black hole. But if you do this types of plays, I mean, you lose two heroes in exchange for an eight. Oh, Meanwhile, he catches the Emperor's Spear. Look at the cost of the damage from Trial Rangers. is way too much. This is aggression versus aggression. And that's part of the plan. Is it actually space created? That's a big question. But nevertheless, we get the Aegis to be a Okay, we have ourselves a ball game right now, Wolf. We we'll have ourselves. Very close game. Our watch right now. Toe to toe, an eye for an eye. Two core heroes for a core hero into this Ooh. game. You know the problem I have with the strong spirit with going for the orchid first is doesn't have any defensive items. Yeah. Like uh, kind of have to deal with the silences, the roots, the ammo of this game. Overall, I think he should also consider getting the BKB in general. But to to maybe save ditch, his life. Yeah, ditch the use, get straight to the BKB. BKB and uh, maybe Bloodstone. Yeah. Because he needs the damage. He needs the damage. That's why he built uh, the Levelance. I mean, the, the burst. He has the damage because of the position aura, but the, the instant burst when he goes in. It's lacking, yeah. especially if you have, again, the heals from the Oracle, the Time Walk. Oh no, Kilua under the cover Setting of Shadow Blade. They big, but they actually jump in. They will not catch anyone. And this is already bad oh, for no, Alpha oh, Gaming. No. They're being chased by this three infections. Rick. He's quite fast, but members of Alpha Gaming Has that quite fast. Yeah. A ton of mobility in them, but they're still chasing. Kakarot might they want be this. cash from the of war. They want this chrono. But they have the vision already. Charlie G with no mana. Wolf. Okay, go for the vortex. 
Jacob to go, no spear. Okay, there's going to be the DP from the Alibaba Gaming, but they know that this is a dead storm spirit. And Ryu will just DP in to add the cherry on top. 17-15, nice pick off coming up from King's Esports. The other thing with Alpha Gaming is that they don't have any saving mechanic just to deal with the Chronosphere. They don't have any more stats on the of the game. Another big back to the side of Taunty 2. Oh man, the damage from the draw. The damage from the draw is just way too much. But they will try to take out this basis point. Oh, shoot. Still has got the ages. And this could be a good prep up for a black hole. It's being prepped up the BKB onto the Enigma, but they thought not. They thought otherwise. Oh, That's nice gust. Bust. From the draw. Okay, Enigma into draw Rangers running for their lives. The OG, but three man back. Over. Where is the damage? There's a defensive bl black hole and nice dagger out from the Enigma, and he will get away safely. Meanwhile, that was an Aegis being popped. The draw Ranger has the, dam the damage, but no backups whatsoever for Alpha Gaming because the Storm Spirit is dead. There's a lot of discipline that Alpha Gaming really showed up. I thought for sure that it was already a lost fight for them, especially yeah. after losing the Storm Spirit. But because of their discipline, it kind of set up for a good comeback for the yeah. Armor Ranger. Yep. And they kind of used their Black Hole defensively, but that's fine. I mean, they could have lost more if they fought with that. So I like the discipline in general from the Alpha Game side. Yeah. If there's a time for the comeback, it's not yet now. They still have minutes to work with. They still have time, so they don't need to rush. Yep. They have the option it to... It is present. It yeah. is present. Yeah. It's just lurking around. As oh, we no. Saw, oh, oh, no. no. Nice silence. No Where are you too. going? Where's the lightning ball? Okay, the gust is late. Too late for the gust. Gust Again, the no defensive two, but in comes the last. They need this pick off. He did this one. There's the Manta oh, style nice and Manta the Shadow style. Blade after the time walk. There's the Gust as well. Living Armor will be there, but they don't have detection anymore. But is they, there a bash? Oh, is there there's is a, a Chrono bash. and there's a Bash. The Chrono is still present. He is faking. Pump fakes the Chrono. Dagger out for H God. But oh man. That's the silencer down though. The Chronosphere committed. That is the Enigma down in the Troll Ranger as well. It's Turning into a disaster for Alpha Gaming. They've been disoriented. They've been dissected by Kings Gaming. And Kings, they were able to, you know, slice and dice the members of Alpha Gaming. Oh man, miscommunications from Alpha Gaming. They don't know what to do. It's a dieback. This could be a potential dieback even yes, after it is. the BKB. And they don't know if they're going to defend or if they're going to kill. The Faceless Void, this as, as you can see, man, he's manning up against Charlie G. Killua, I am the hunter from Hunter x Hunter, and four heroes it's over. will fall. It's over. We have ourselves game number three, Kings Esports, forcing out that uh, this series into a game three, ladies and gentlemen. And who is going into the grand finals? We still don't know yet. We still don't know yet. Yeah, game number that three. That was intense. I mean, if, if I thought for sure that there's a lot of comeback potential for the set of Alpha Gaming, but it seems like it's just the fact that they were, 